Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here. It's time for an epic unboxing on that right there. This thing right here. <clears throat> so, yeah, we got this awesome Bakugan Geogon Rising Ventus Core Falcron. So, yeah, I did manage to find the uh, diamond one, but didn't get the actual uh, Ventus Core Falcron, but got it now. So, yeah, you know, Falcon looking so sick right there, looking like Rivali, Ravioli. Uh, yeah, Zelda reference, because I'm really hyped because they finally dropped the trailer for Breath of the Wild 2. I know I'm getting into Zelda stuff during the Bakugan unboxing, but I don't care. I've been waiting for two years for this. This has been the game I've been waiting for, and I finally put out a new trailer for it and kind of confirmed for next year, and I'm so excited, dude. Oh, my gosh, I'm so, I'm so happy. Yeah, and that, and also a person messaged me on a Snapchat and sent a really, really a special message. You, you know who you are, and you're probably going to freak out when you see that I'm mentioning it on here, but for real, uh, just know it made my day a lot better, especially with how much I've been adulting and such, and it means a lot that you reached out and, uh, you know, sent that message, so, yeah, big time thank you, just having supporters like you, like all you guys, it's the absolute best, and, you know, totally honored, and it really does help me push through uh, day by day, you know, because adulting a lot and such too, you know, uh, but, yeah, anyway, he's going to get back into it. Just had to mention that. But Falcrown looking so sick as uh, Core, you know, in its native faction of Ventus. So all the green. Got the yellow on the wings looking really, really sick. The lime green right there. Ventus logo, all that good stuff. And Falcrown looking like a beast right there. So, got to check out the back. Uh, yeah, includes the Bakugan Core's character card uh, and gate card. And then all the Bakugan for the waves. So Diamond Falcrown, Diamond Shark Tar, Ventus Falcrown, Ventus Farasco, Chaos Fenica. Uh, Aqua Shark Tar, Pyrus Drago, and Arliss Pinsitar. So, the time of filming this, I actually have reviewed all of the other Bakugan for this wave. So, this is the last one that I needed. Uh, yeah, definitely go and check out those unboxings, man. But, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, man. So, when I remember, uh, the core Diamond Falcon has some pretty good stats with it. Uh, but, yeah, dude. Boom. <clears throat> they came out way too easily, so you already know they put plastic strips, or not plastic strips, plastic in general around the gate card. Like, yeah, they always love trolling us a little bit, I guess, all the reviewers. And oh man, we got the we got a pain in the butt uh tape strip there, but got that out of there. Had to retard it a little bit. And yup, sure enough, well, ain't nothing stopping me today. Nah, it's been a pretty good day thus far, and we're not stopping it. So get out of there. Yeah, double uh fist. Double regular fist whip. So, yeah, got to check this out. Uh, of course, got Enoch right there looking so sick. So, 300, 300, 100, 100, 200, and 600. So, Dark is getting the biggest boost for this one. Uh, yeah, in general, a good Darkest gate card. And then we got the actual cores here. And uh, double fist. So, yeah, uh, plus 150, plus 2, plus 100. Pyrus and Ventus getting plus 3. Both are very, very good cores for regular fists. So, yeah, man, now getting into Falcon. So, we got this green, of course, all this yellow paint right there in the wings. Got the, li uh, the lime green right there. I uh, got a little bit of lime green there. You see the head, that old beak right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to nickname this Rivali. Who knows? Maybe I'll make a Zelda theme back because I'm so hyped about this sequel, getting a new trailer and kind of an announcement date. Not an official, like, full, full date, but, like, next year. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. No, okay. Anyways, <laughs> like, for real, I've been excited for two years, you guys, you know. Ever since they put out the first trailer, like, I've just been waiting. I've been watching so many, like, theory videos and stuff and just, like, uh, anticipation for this game. This has been the, the big-time game I've been waiting for. But, yeah. Anyways, let's get into it. Three, two, one, back on Brawl. And got it! Check that out. First roll, too. Is it strong enough to pick up two cores? Um, it tries to. Well, if it's on the edge, if it's on the edge, it kind of can. You just got to be careful with it, you know, lifting it up because it might drop that second core, so... Definitely just take caution if it does get double core. But, yeah, man, there's Val uh, Falcron <clears throat> in the core uh, version, you know. Lime green, all the regular green just looks so, so sick. B-Power 400, but, yeah, obviously thinking, oh, it might only go up to 550, which that's definitely disappointing. That's not too, too crazy. But, but, here's the real kicker. It's true effect. So, uh, there's Falcron, double fist. 401 lands on a fist against plus 500 and plus five so the extra little boost honestly does make it pretty good it can break a thousand gets up to uh 1050 and eight 
Yeah, which that is honestly not bad. Breaking a thousand and having some good damage to go with it, that is really, really nice. Like I said, I really think any Bakugan that breaks a thousand is definitely usable. You know, we obviously got some Bakugan that we're not seeing like too, too crazy of a power creep. Uh, you know, like a little gradual increase. I think like the worst one would probably be like Ryorazu. Yeah, Ryorazu, and I can't remember the other Bakugan off the top of my head. But yeah, they both get up to like 1600 right away, which yeah, that's a good amount and it's really, really strong. But you know. Um, not too, too insane of a power creep, honestly, at this point. Like, I'd say anywhere between, like, they shouldn't make any Bakugan that can straight away get above 1600, because then we'll start having some issues, I think. Uh, yeah, just keep it balanced and keep the Bakugan B power between, like, 1000 and 1650. Anywhere between there, like, you know, still good, still usable and such, and yeah. One of the things that's really, really balancing out the game, especially putting in Bakugan like this, you know, like this Falcron, where you land on a fist and it gives this much of a boost. Just, you know, definitely made a uh, regular fist decks that much more viable because having Holy Flame, having some other cards that, you know, can make it where you can attach a fist to your Bakugan and, you know, getting that boost. I like how Falcron has that boost is really, really nice. Definitely want to see that. Uh, I don't know, maybe a couple more Flame Fist Bakugan. Um, I mean, they're doing so with the Magic Shield, even the Helix. Honestly, I think at this point, all cores have that bonus. But definitely just want to see some cards that do the same thing. So, like, cards like Holy Flame, you land on a fish, you get an extra bonus. Same thing for a Flame Fish. You land on that, you get an extra bonus from an action card. Um, <clears throat> even, like, a Shield. The farthest I'd go is honestly a Shield. Honestly, uh, Magic Shields and Helixes don't need it. You know, just regular Shield, Flame Fist, regular Fist. Have cards that boost all of those, and it'll balance out the game that much more, you know? Making it where Flame Fist decks, regular Fist decks, and Shield decks are that much more viable, man. Adding those cards. But, yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, those are my main thoughts on it and that is going to do it for this review on this absolutely amazing bakugan geogon rising ventus falcron the core falcron looking so so awesome man but yeah with that got all the bakugan for this wave like i said you can go and check out the unboxings on the other bakugan uh yeah man just so so sick but hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys till next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks so much for watching until then stay awesome and bakugan brawl i'm about to here.